Okay, here's a video on how to modify a printer fuser out of an SPC811DN to go into your Rico MPC3500 slash 4500. Essentially, they're the same fuser section. Uh, all Rico did was uh, move two wires behind this panel so that it, if you buy an 811, it won't work. Um, but this is definitely the way to go. Uh, it will save you at least $200 um, versus buying the one for the copier. Um, you can always tell the one for the printer because it's going to have these green handles on it um, instead of blue. The blue ones are uh, the ones for the copy machine. Now, uh, to get this out, I'm sorry I don't have a copier at home but I brought one of these home with me to make this video if you look up underneath the fuser section when it's in the machine you'll see some little white clips like that and if you just pop these off it's kind of hard to do with one hand there we go and then there'll be one over here as well um, then you can, while it's in the copy machine, you can just pull up on both of these handles right here, right there, and right there, and just lift it straight out. Now, once you've got it out, then you just want to get this black cover off right here. Um, and you just take off this one screw. All right. And then, I'm going to turn this up a little bit so we can get a little bit of light. And then the connector we want to get at is that one right there, that blue one. And on the other side, there's some little tabs that hold this thing in. It's going to be hard for me to get really focused in on it, but on this left side right here, you'll just press on some tabs, and then this connector will pull right out. And I've already done that, so I'm just going to be able to pull it straight out. Now, when you look at this connector, it's got two blue wires on it. Okay. And this is the printer version. And when I want to modify it to go into the copier, I will move this blue wire right here, this one that's on the very first pin, and we're going to move it to the second pin, okay? And all you do is you take something, you know, something like this or a really tiny screwdriver. And what you want to do, and this is almost near impossible with one hand, but you'll just pry up this little tab right here. And when you pry up the tab, then you can pull the wire out and then just simply move it over one slot. Okay, once you move it over one slot, then all you got to do is just pop your connector back in right there. And you want to make sure it goes all the way in and clicks in. And once it's in, just put your cover back on, set your fuser unit in there. And you've just saved yourself about 200, 250 bucks. And it's the same fuser section and once again that is a SPC 811DN fuser unit that you want to order um, not the MPC 3500-4500 um, and that will save you a bunch of money